So the first thing that happens when you uh, are about to direct a television show or, or a movie is the script. Francois Truffaut, wonderful French director, said there are only three things that matter when you're making a movie. The script, the script, and the script. And I would have to agree with them. In this case, here's the script. Um, I would get that script um, usually one afternoon. So really there's um, a lot of preparation before I come on board. There's the script and there's the departments meeting um, and getting a rough sense of this. Then I come in, we have a general meeting, we talk through generally the show, and then I go and I meet each of the departments and we have various meetings and in <clears throat> Louis Abel's office, the um, producer, one of the producers of the show, um, and he really oversees all the meetings. Um, and then we are weaving all of this between location scouts, going out and looking at things in the, in the van, and, uh, and then slowly, slowly, everyone begins to get a sense of what it is we're making. I find it's very important as a director to just disseminate as much information as possible, constantly asking and getting questions and answering those questions and answering those questions, and as quickly as possible, I get a sense of what the show is that I want to make. Um, also, I will ultimately walk around wherever I'm going to shoot and figure out where I'm going to put the cameras, um, how those scenes are going to lay out. And if you look at my script, you'll see often that I will um, put into it um, little drawings, um, sort of breaking down um, how, how I want a scene to play out. Um, and I kind of draw pictures often just to help me feel out what it's going to look like, or almost like a football diagrams, sort of laying out where people are moving. They move this way, um, open a drawer, walk over to a drawer. This is the scene actually where uh, Anita walks in, Judd is sitting, Alan, the character, is sitting in a chair. Anita comes in the door, he gets up, he walks over to a drawer, opens to get the necklace, and the two of them you can see right here, this is Judd, this is Anita, um, and here are the cameras that give a sense of the cameras. This, this uh, arrow here is telling me the, the camera is going to dolly back. And um, while I was there on the set by myself, I was laying out what this was. So that's that scene. And that happens in many cases. Uh, for instance, this is the scene when, um, when they're approaching the van at the end of Act 1, and I knew that I wanted to do an over-the-shoulder shot, um, which actually I was a shot I'm very happy with. Um, and in fact, what we did in this case also was we have um, storyboards. You can see there, these are guys freaking out in the van. Here's the van, rough shot of the van. Um, and in fact, we changed it a lot. There was a point where we were going to have a sense of vibration and a glass sort of vibrating and then going over on the side. We felt that was too much like um, um, Jurassic Park, so we took that out. But you can see um, all through here, um, here's a shot. So here's a shot of a scene um, that we ended up doing with uh, um, our guys in a Jeep playing. See, we're into sort of playing silhouettes, sort of a sense of silhouettes, which we did sort of do. Um, oh, you can't see this. This is. Um, this is stuff that gives away some of the show. You'll have to watch the show to see what that storyboard was all about. <laughs>